Welcome back, January 14th, we have this aircraft that went down, hit the trees close to this home. Lucky nobody on the ground was injured. The one person on board was the pilot. You can see they had to stabilize this aircraft. There's the tail number, November 512 Sierra Papa. It was a Cessna 172S Skyhawk. And here's close up of that engine. Their firefighters had to make access to the patient. It was a 62-year-old pilot attempting to land at Lake Norman Air Park. This is near uh, 100 Normandy Road around 12.20 p.m. So I'm not sure if this is them taking out the patient or if this is them trying to stabilize the aircraft. But you can see a lot of sheriffs and firefighters, paramedics all came and uh it's not a good sign usually if there's that many people um, for one patient but anytime we hear plane crash pretty much a lot of people are are gonna head to the scene because we don't know what we're dealing with but you could see the air park there and then here are some trees and all the homes around the area so again hopefully that pilot makes it and and luckily nobody on the ground was hurt in uh, Mooresville North Carolina here is the flight path of the aircraft not sure what happened to cause the crash moving on january 18th miami florida this boeing 747 had a fire to the number two engine after takeoff from um, runway nine at miami international airport so people on the ground obviously were pretty worried i'm sure those on board could see all the all the flames from that engine here it is, uh, Boeing 747, November 859 Golf Tango. And here is the flight path of this aircraft in Miami. No injuries on this one, so all good here. And then finally, January 19th, we're in Lorita, Florida. And this aircraft nosed over after having to do a forced landing. It was a Quest Kodiak 100. There were six souls on board. They all survived near this Sebring Regional Airport. So here is where the aircraft ended up. Please subscribe and like this video. Firefighters did get on scene for the six people on board. You can see they did have to airlift one passenger out. The other two went to the hospital from the ground ambulance and the other three uh, were okay. And then here it is, that Kodiak again, upside down. Doesn't look like any, any fire or any other type of hazards, but getting six people out upside down. Um, luckily, they were okay to, to get out um, without much help. So just the aircraft is in bad shape. But good job to all the firefighters. Good job to the pilots. There is no deaths on this one. Everybody, for the most part, um, was okay except for maybe that Cessna on the first video. But um, thanks, everybody. I will continue to look for these aircraft incident accidents. Maybe we can learn something. This is Arfaram Kioni. See you guys next time.